Take your Python packages and make them pip installable so you can use them throughout your project. In this one, I'm going to show you the easy way of doing that. So here I have my Python packages that I've been developing throughout the beginners video series. And I've just been through all of them and added doc string comments to each of the functions. This is going to be really important when we use it in our other projects to tell us exactly what the function does and how to call it. To make this process super simple, we're going to use PyCharm to create our setup.py file, which we're going to need to make distributable packages. The first step in this process is to select the package name in the project files navigation pane. Then what we're going to do is go to the tools menu and we're going to select create setup.py. In the new window that pops up, we're going to set a name for our package. I'm going to call it common underscore CG. It's always a good idea to either prefix or suffix your name with a namespace. In this case, I'm using CG for code guy. And that's so when we use a package index, it doesn't collide with other packages. I'm going to set the version here to 0.1 because this is a really early package. The only other thing you actually need to fill out in this box is the description, which I'm going to do now. Upon clicking OK, setup.py will be created in the root of our project and the editor will open it automatically. Now you'll see in this list of packages, all the packages in this project have been included and I don't want that, I only want common. So we're going to remove everything but common. Now to actually package this into a distributable, we need to have wheel installed. So if I do pip list, I can see that wheel's there. Let's just try an update. If wheel is not there for you, you will need to install it or this won't work. We're now on the step where we're going to create a distributable. So put your cursor into the setup.py file, select tools, and then run setup.py task. This brings up a weird little menu. Type in sdist, that's S-D-I-S-T, and hit enter. You should now get a command line argument box. In here, we're going to type bdist underscore wheel. You should see a load of text at the bottom of the screen indicating that it's building a package. After this stops spinning, have a look in your navigator. You should see a dist folder. In here, you'll find two files, a .tar.gz and a .wheel. I'm just going to drag these into a new directory on my Z drive called PyPKG. You can really put this anywhere that you want to store all your packages centrally. Next, I'm going to show you how to install that package we just created from the local file system without having to use something like PyPy. Now do note that you can upload these to something like the PyPy index. You can create your own local PyPy server, or you can actually store them on a web server and then pip can install from all of these locations. In this video, we're just going to focus on installing them from the file system. So I'm just going to open a new Python project that I created earlier called PKG test. This is basically a blank environment with a blank VM. If we run pip list, you'll see that the only thing installed is actually pip. Okay, time to actually install it. And the way we do that is we type pip install cg underscore common dash dash no dash index space and then dash dash find dash links. And then we're just going to put in the path to our folder, which in my case is said dot backslash py pkg. And there's an error. Why is that? Oh, it should be common cg, not cg.com. So common cg, run it again. And there we go, installed common CG. Just run a pip list now and we can see it's there. Common CG is installed at version 0.1. Now when you try and use this, it will probably fail. And that's because you can't import from common underscore CG. So here's how we do install it and use it. So let's start. From common, import numerics. Note that common is my original package name, not the name I created for the package that I'm distributing. And then we're going to do totals equals numerics dot running total. And you can see that this actually defaulted for me when I was typing. And then we're just going to put a list in there with the values one to five and then four X in totals print X. And if we run that, you'll see that now my list of numbers has been converted to a list of tuples with a running total in the right hand column. Now, if we hover over the running totals call, you'll see that we get def running totals and the types because we did type declare these. And then underneath that, this is actually my doc string comments being printed directly underneath so we can see what the parameters are and exactly how we use them. Now, if you want to watch how to make your Python code more reusable, you can check out the video top left. This shows you how we actually started to create the package that I just packaged in this video. And with that, thanks for watching and I hope to catch you on the next one.